Hello YouTubers, my name is NixV and you are on the channel for those who love inline skating and wants to progress in it. And today we will start talking about the city skating and all the different obstacles that you can meet while city skating. And in today's video we will be talking about this. This is the tiles. You can think that the only problem that the tiles could cause is that awful shaking of your wheels and all your body. But that's not true in fact. There is another danger because tiles are really really insidious. Just look at that. You can see that the picture of the tiles could be different, the scheme of the parts could be different and if we will meet if we meet such a long line here, the crack between the parts, sometimes our wheels could get into that crack and get stuck in it. So when you will try to go out, you can do it and you will fall. So some monorail effect is created here your wheel will stuck and you will accidentally transform into a tramway or a train. And now when I created another one city skating fear in your mind, let's talk how to deal with it. Of course you can simply jump over all the cracks if the tiles are pretty big. But I will give you a few advices that will allow you do not look down all the time while you are skating. And the first tip will be a very generous one. It is of course stay low. Bend your knees as I've showed in my basic stance tutorial and that will give your feet more freedom. You will be able to lift up the front wheel and get out from the crack more easily than on the straight legs. Also, your center of masses will be lower and that means that you will be more stable. You've probably noticed that all that popular YouTube skaters are mostly not very tall and the taller guys, like I am, usually looking more clumsy and ridiculous on skates. That's because of the center of masses. But you can change it. Click the subscribe button, share that video with your friends and you will help taller skater guys to be more popular on YouTube. The next tip is don't skate in a straight line. Try to create an angle with that lines created by tiles. Make some slalom, some curving turns and so on. And it will help you to avoid that cracks. And also it is very fun. The next tip is the wheels. Yes, of course, bigger wheels will help you avoiding that problems. Also, the profile of the wheels is important. For some speed skates with the thin, fine profile, it will be a little bit difficulter to skate on tiles. For urban skates that have somewhat more flat profile, it will be easier. Also, some rockering of the wheels could help with it. And the last advice will be a little bit unexpected. Use the inside edges of your skates. Yeah, we usually speak that using of inside edges or a pronation is a mistake. But on tiles it could really help you. That shortened strides, that tilted skates will help you also to avoid getting into that cracks. That way you can turn your usual mistake into your advantage. And the bonus tip, use your protection gear, that will help you, even if you will fall. And that's all the tips for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to support the taller skater guy, click thumbs up, click the subscribe button if you are not yet subscribed. There will be a lot more city skating tips on this channel. Share that video with your friends, family and colleagues. See you next time. Bye.